Chapter 5 Introduction to Adobe Animate CC Learning Objectives Understand Basics of Adobe Animate CC Launch and Navigate the Software Identify Key Workspace Elements Use Drawing and Selection Tools Create and Manipulate Shapes Understand Layers and Their Functions Utilize Various Animation Techniques Adobe Animate CC is a user-friendly and powerful software that empowers you to craft everything from simple cartoons to interactive animations. By understanding how to use Adobe Animate CC, you can create cartoons, advertisements, and even interactive games. In this chapter, you will learn the basics of Adobe Animate CC and the types of projects you can create and some basic techniques to start your journey in animation. Launching Adobe Animate CC To start Adobe Animate CC, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on the Start button on your computer's taskbar. Locate Adobe Animate CC from the list of programs and click to open it. Step 2. Upon opening, you will see the home screen. Select the Advanced Workspace for more detailed options. Step 3. Select Action Script 3.0 under the Platforms category. Step 4. On the right side of the screen, set the dimensions of your animation on the stage, such as width, height, and background color. The default size setting is 550 quadra 400 pixels. Step 5. Click on the Create button to initiate your animation project. Overview of the Adobe Animate CC Workspace the workspace in Adobe Animate CC includes various panels and tools designed to assist in creating and editing animations. The stage. The stage is the primary area where you place your graphical elements such as images, text and videos. Tools like rulers and grids can help position items accurately. The grey area around the stage, known as the pasteboard, serves as a space for elements not visible during playback. To view only the stage, you can use the Clip to Stage feature from the Magnification option under the View tab. Menu Bar The menu bar provides access to functions like file management, opening, saving, closing, editing commands, copying, pasting, and settings for the working environment. Tools Panel This panel contains various tools organized into sections. 1. Drawing and Selection Tools used for creating and modifying shapes and selecting objects. 2. View Tools for zooming and panning within the workspace. 3. Color Tools to select colors for the stroke and fill of shapes. 4. Options Contextual settings for the currently selected tool. Tool section Selection tool V Free transform tool O Brush tool B Rectangle tool Oval tool O Line tool N Text tool T Paint bucket tool K Eraser tool E Swap Colors Z Fill Color Colors Area Ink Bottle Tool S Camera Tool Poly Star Tool Sub Selection Tool A Lasso Tool L 3D Rotation Tool W Paint Brush Tool Y Pencil Tool Pen Tool N Eyedropper Tool I View Section Hand Tool H with tool U, Bone Tool M, Zoom Tool Z, Asset Wrap Tool. Timeline Panel The Timeline Panel is crucial for animating objects. It helps in organizing and timing the animation's content. Key elements include 
frames represent individual units of time in the animation. Key frames mark specific points where changes occur in the animation, such as movement or color change. Playhead indicates the current frame being viewed on the stage. Properties panel. The properties panel displays detailed attributes of selected objects or the document itself, allowing for precise modifications to enhance the animation's quality. Layers. Layers in Adobe Animate CC function like transparent sheets stacked on top of one another. Each layer can contain different elements such as images, text or other graphics. This layered structure allows for easy management and editing as elements on one layer can be adjusted without altering elements on other layers. Key features of layers include 1. Ordering layers can be rearranged with elements on higher layers appearing above those on lower layers. 2. Visibility. You can hide or show layers to focus on specific parts of your project. 3. Locking layers can be locked to prevent accidental modifications. 4. Outlines. You can view layers as outlines, which can help in positioning and aligning elements accurately. Understanding Strokes and Fields in Adobe Animate CC, every graphic is composed of two main components, the fill and the stroke. The fill refers to the interior color or pattern of a shape, while the stroke is the outline or border around the shape. These two elements can be manipulated independently, allowing for flexibility in design. For example, you can modify the color of the fill without affecting the stroke or even remove the stroke altogether, leaving only the filled shape. Using the drawing tools, Adobe Animate CC provides various tools for creating and modifying shapes essential for animation and design work. Rectangle tool the rectangle tool allows you to draw rectangles and squares to ensure a perfect square. Hold the shift key while dragging the tool. To draw a rectangle, follow these steps. Step 1. In the Tools panel, click on the Rectangle tool. Step 2. In the Properties panel, select the desired stroke color, fill color, stroke size and stroke style. Step 3. Click and drag the mouse on the stage. Release the mouse button to complete the shape. Did you know? You can create rectangles with rounded corners by adjusting the corner radius in the properties panel. No more. You can create an ellipse or a circle using the oval tool. Pencil tool. The pencil tool functions like a real pencil, allowing for freehand drawing. It has three modifiers. 1. Straighten and draw straight lines. 2. Smooth creates smooth curved lines. 3. Ink draws freehand lines without any modification. To draw with the pencil tool, follow these steps. Step 1. Choose the pencil tool from the tools panel. Step 2. In the Properties panel, adjust the stroke color, fill color, stroke thickness, and stroke style. Step 3. Click and drag the mouse on the stage to create freehand drawings. Brush tool. The brush tool offers a variety of brush-like strokes for drawing and painting. Unlike the pencil tool, the brush tool can draw both fill and outline. Different brush modes. 1. Paint normal, paints over lines and fills. 2. Paint fills, paints only the fills and empty areas. 3. Paint behind, paints in blank areas without affecting lines and fills. 4. Paint selection applies a new fill color only to the selected area. 5. 
Paint inside restricts painting to the fill areas, preventing painting outside the lines. To use the brush tool, follow these steps. Step 1. Choose the brush tool from the tools panel. Step 2. Use the options section to select brush size, shape and mode. Step 3. Drag the mouse on the stage to paint. Polystar tool The polystar tool is used for drawing polygons and stars. You can customize the number of sides and the star point size. To draw a star, follow these steps. Step 1. Choose the polystar tool from the tools panel. Step 2. Click on the Options button in the Tools settings under the Properties panel. In the dialog box, select the star style. Step 3. Enter the number of sides or points, 3 to 32. Step 4. Adjust the star point size for sharp or soft points. Step 5. Set the stroke and fill colors and drag the mouse on the stage. No more. For polygons, select the polygon option instead of star in the tool settings. Selection tools Selection tools are essential for choosing and modifying objects on the stage. The main tools used for selection in Adobe Animate CC are 1. Selection tool used to select objects by clicking on them or by drawing a rectangular selection around them. To select a line, filled area, or text block, click on the object with the selection tool. To select both the fill and stroke of a shape, double click on either the fill area or stroke tool. Sub selection tool allows for the selection and adjustment of individual points or segments of a path. To modify the shape of an object, Click on its outline with the sub-selection tool, then adjust the anchor points or paths. 3. Lasso tool enables freehand selection by drawing around the area you wish to select. It includes options like polygon selection for more angular selections. To use select the lasso tool from the tools panel, then draw around the object on the stage to create a selection. Line tool. The line tool is used for drawing straight lines. To draw a line, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on the line tool in the tools panel. Step 2. Choose the stroke color, stroke size, and stroke style in the properties panel. Step 3. Click and drag the mouse on the stage to draw a line. Tidbit. While using the pencil tool, holding the shift key helps in drawing straight horizontal or vertical lines. Changing a straight line into a curved line. In Adobe Animate CC, you can transform a straight line into a curved line using the selection tool. This process allows for greater flexibility in designing and shaping your animations. To curve a line, follow these steps. Step 1. Start by drawing a straight line using the line tool. Step 2. Choose the selection tool from the tools panel. Ensure that the line is not selected. Step 3. Hover the mouse pointer over the middle of the line. The cursor will change to an arrow with a curve symbol. Step 4. Click and drag the line to form the desired curve. Release the mouse button to set the curve in play. Factored, the selection tool, can be used not only for curving lines, but also for reshaping various other elements in Adobe Animate CC. Pen tool The pen tool in Adobe Animate CC is designed for drawing precise paths as either straight lines or smooth curves. This tool is versatile, allowing you to create complex shapes and paths. Methods of Drawing with the Pen Tool Drawing straight line segments, click on the stage to set anchor points and the pen tool will automatically connect these points with straight lines. 
2. Drawing curved line segments, click and drag to create curved paths between anchor points. You can adjust the curve slope and length by manipulating the handles that appear. To use the pen tool, follow these steps. Step 1. Choose the pen tool from the tools panel. Step 2. Click on the stage to place points forming a path. Step 3. To complete the path, either double click the last point or control click away from the path for an open path. To close a path, click on the first anchor text tool. The text tool in Adobe Animate CC allows users to add text to the stage. This tool offers various customization options for the text properties. To use the text tool, follow these steps. Step 1. In the Tools panel, click on the text tool. Step 2. Use the Properties panel to choose the font family, font size, font style, text color, and text alignment. Step 3. Move the mouse pointer to the stage. Click and type the desired text. View Modification Tools In Adobe Animate CC, view modification tools allow you to adjust your view of the stage without altering the actual content. These tools are particularly useful for navigating and focusing on different areas of your work. Hand Tool the hand tool lets you move the view of the stage around. It is useful for shifting the view to different parts of the stage without changing the magnification. Usage Select the hand tool from the tools panel, then click and drag the stage to move it. Rotation tool This tool allows you to rotate the view of the stage, which can help when working on complex angles or details. The rotation tool can be accessed by selecting the small triangle at the lower right of the hand tool icon. Usage after selecting the rotation tool, click and drag to rotate the stage. Zoom tool The zoom tool changes the magnification level of the stage. You can zoom in to focus on details or zoom out to see the entire stage. Usage Select the Zoom tool from the Tools panel, then click on the stage to zoom in. Shortcut keys Hold the Alt key and click to zoom out. Chapter Essentials Adobe Animate CC is for creating animations. Launch by selecting Adobe Animate CC from the Start menu. The stage is the main area for design. Menu bar contains file and editing options. The Tools panel has tools for drawing and selection. Timeline panel helps in organizing and timing animations. Properties panel displays attributes of selected objects. Layers allow managing different elements independently. Strokes and fills define the appearance of shapes. Various tools like pen and brush are used for drawing.